it seems like if there is an agenda, it's it's that there's value in in going across the street and talking to people that you don't necessarily know and finding that common ground. N not necessarily in in you know any sort of greater sense of activism, although that is an option. But but just the idea that 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 like you said, a dialogue that is. That, that, that's that's what you can take away from something like Th that. Think about what you just said. I mean, given the larger political paradigm we face, you know, with you know Trump on one side and Clinton on the other side, and 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 those two sides unable even to talk to each other. Uh, so you're right. I mean, you know, the ability to just have a dialogue, and especially for young people to learn to talk to people that are different, that come from different cultures, different places, different economic backgrounds. Uh, it's absolutely essential uh, because look, this is their challenge. You've got, okay, climate change certainly, but how to make this global capitalist consumer economic engine work for more people and not just produce a new aristocracy and everybody else like living in serfdom, that is the challenge. The irony is that in this political campaign, actually, certainly during the primary season with Bernie Sanders on one side and Trump on the other, you did hear this refrain that the system isn't working, it's rigged, it's only delivering for the very, very top and not for everybody else. So there is a mainstreaming, but in terms of any solutions or any real in-depth dialogue, in many ways, that's what these kids are growing into, and that is going to be part of their lifelong challenge. Yeah.